Hello everyone, good afternoon, Captain JC here. And today is April 7. Uh, the President just announced that the enhanced community quarantine will be extended until April 30. So that means we don't have flights until then. And uh, this vlog is going to be a different one compared to uh, our previous vlogs uh, because I don't have any flights. And uh, during this community quarantine, nandito lang ako sa bahay, uh, together with my wife and my kids. We don't go out. We only go out if it's necessary, like buying medicines, buying uh, food. But uh, during this whole time, during, the, during these past few weeks, I've been doing a lot of photography because that's one of my hobby and I'd like to share to you my hobby by the way I'm doing this video because tonight or tomorrow at 2 a.m. will be uh, full moon it is going to be the brightest moon that's what they said and I'm preparing all my things all my gears to capture an image of the moon for tomorrow so Mamaya madaling araw, magigising ako ng alas dos. And for those of you who are interested in photography, uh, I can share some things to you. And uh, for those of you who are new to photography, you can get something uh, on this video. Wala munang vlog regarding sa lipad. Uh, this channel is about flying and also about my hobby and uh, photography and music. So, to help everyone and uh, give you an insight of how to do photography if you are interested in creating a new hobby, so photography is highly recommended. So, for the past, siguro more than 10 years or close to 20 years, uh, mahilig na talaga ako sa photography. Yun lang yung bisyo ko. Uh, I don't smoke. I occasionally drink, pero hindi talaga. Pero yung bisyo ko talaga yung photography. So kung meron akong ibang pinagkakaabalahan bukod sa flying, it's uh, photography. Late, uh, itong ano, because I'm doing this vlog, medyo nahihiling na rin ako sa videography. But I'm not really serious about it. I like to think of it as my serious hobby. Uh... Sometimes I make money out of it, pero hindi naman regular. So, for those of you who are interested, you can stay and watch. By the way, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, it will help me a lot. If you are wondering where we are right now, andito tayo sa mini studio ko. So, kapag ka gumagawa ko ng editing, uh, photography related or video related, I usually use this setup. So, andito yung mga paper. If I need to print all my work, these are the papers. Dito sa ilalim, nandito yung printer. And bags and everything. So, this is my mini studio inside our room. I live in a condo, so napakaliit lang ng room ko. Andito na yan lahat. For the basic needs that you need, mamaya, it's going to be full moon. And I'd like to capture the image of the moon. So, for those of you who are interested uh, to capture the moon, of course, the basic uh, things that you need is to have a camera and telephoto one. Yun yung pinaka importante. So, for those who are interested, this is my setup for. I usually do bird photography so or wildlife. So, this lens, na bili ko siya. I used to shoot Nikon from the very start Nikon talaga and then there was a time na nagkaroon ako ng Canon pero hindi pa rin uh, hindi pa rin siya ganun ka hindi ko siya masyadong ginamit I stayed on Nikon and then eventually I I bought Fuji and then I sold all my Fuji and now I'm using Sony so dun sa mga hindi pa nakakabay ng camera uh, because it's expensive. This is an expensive hobby, but you don't have to buy the best gears out there. You just have to be interested 
on photography and buy within your budget okay this one for those of you who are interested this is a sony a7r4 with a small rig cage i'd like to put a cage on it because medyo aussie ako ayok nang nagagasgas uh, yung body and then this is this lens is the uh, Sony 72 uh, sorry Sony 200 to 600 millimeter GOSS lens so it can go from 200 millimeter up to 600 millimeter uh, this is really nice when it comes to wildlife photography and also if you want to photograph the moon because you can zoom in and get the details and this one is really really sharp but you you don't have to uh, buy this lens kung anong meron kayo pwede yung gamitin for those of you who are not into the Sony system if you are shooting a Nikon DSLR they have the 200 to 500 f 5.6 for uh, Canon I think they still have the 400 millimeter f 5.6 but the cheaper ones cheap siya pero they are really performing really good. It's the Tamron and the Sigma 152 600mm. I used to shoot with the Tamron 152 600mm and I also have an experience shooting the Sigma. They are really good uh, for the price. So if you are shooting DSLRs, you can use that. If you are shooting a Fuji, you can use the uh, 40 to 150 I guess. Yon. If you're using Olympus, the 300mm f, f4 is a very nice lens. I know uh, one bird photographer who is using that and lahat ng shots niya, napakaganda. Naiingit ako. But it's not about the camera. It's not about uh, the gears that you have. It's about how you use the gears, your existing gears. You don't have to buy the most expensive ones just uh, do the best of what you have and the next thing uh, bukod sa camera and lens you need a sturdy tripod so I have here the Benro carbon fiber tripod with uh, tawag dito? video head liquid fluid pala <laughs> a fluid video head I used to have a gimbal but this one is better uh, gimbal is this one this is also from benro it's the gh2 so if you have this you can control the panning and then the tilt okay to kasi mabilis mong ma-adjust yung mga adjustment depende kung saan mo gusto sa pan or sa tilt but the problem with this is uh, hindi siya fluid yung motion mo so may jerkiness so if you're shooting a telephoto lens say a super telephoto lens say you are at 600 millimeter even the small small movement will have a very big impact on your frame kahit na yung ihip lang ng hangin makikita mo because everything is magnified so doon sa frame mo makikita mo gumagalaw yung yung image sa frame mo so kailangan mo ng sturdy na tripod sturdy tripod and a very sturdy uh, head some uses ball head some uses the gimbal I like to use this right now the fluid head but you don't have to buy these things uh, nagumpisa rin ako sa mga ano yung mga uh, mumurahin lang ang importante naka tripod ka para steady yung shot mo okay one thing more that you need uh, for doing uh, photography especially of the moon and especially if you're doing uh, using a telephoto lens is to have a remote trigger. This one is a uh, remote trigger from Sony. It's the Sony P1VT uh, remote trigger. Uh, this is Bluetooth, so hindi siya wired connected to the camera. Meron ding mga wired, but I prefer this one because like I said before, if you're using a telephoto lens, even the slightest movement, it will have a great great impact on your image. Masyadong gagalaw. And if your frame is always moving, you will have a hard time go, uh, getting a sharp image of the subject. So this is 
a nice to have but it's not necessary because you can always a work around if you don't have this you can always set the camera on a on a timer so that when you press the shutter pag press mo it will take time before it will uh, take the image that means that you're not holding anymore the camera so yun yung pinaka iniiwasan that's uh, one thing that you don't like to do hold the camera while it's taking the picture because even the slightest movement like i said will have a great impact on your uh, image so this is a nice to have pero kung wala you can do the timer technique okay guys first tip is to use manual focus well you can shoot the moon using autofocus but for optimal results you must use manual focus on a tripod kasi hindi naman katulad ng ibo na yung ano yung moon eh pagalaw-galaw so steady lang naman yung moon but if you're at 600 feet you will notice na medyo nag uh, ano siya gumagalaw siya sa frame pero hindi masyadong mabilis so first thing is you use manual focus like i said you can use auto focus because the moon is so bright madali lang siya makita ng ano ng lens ng camera but for optimal results it is better for you to use manual focus so you switch off the autofocus and then uh, manual focus it use focus speaking if you have in your camera and on this case this lens and camera combination kapag ginalaw mo yung manual focus niya at saka nasa manual focus setting siya magsu-zoom in digitally yung makina ay I, i mean yung camera and then it will help you aid uh, to confirm focus doon sa moon so that's one tip that i can give so regarding the lens stabilization or the stabilization of your camera for a super telephoto lens uh, it is advisable to switch it on so that goes against uh, what is being taught kapag ka sa mga landscape photography uh, if you're using a very wide angle lens ultra wide angle lens they will tell you to switch off the image stabilization when it is on tripod because the stabilization gets confused and tries to compensate even if there is no movement on this case since you're using a super telephoto lens like i said before everything is magnified the image is being magnified at 600 millimeters but also the movement a very small movement kahit na yung matapik mo lang or may hangin lang na do dumaan makikita mo talagang yung image mo gumagalaw so yung uh, image stabilization on this case on the sony they call it the optical steady shot you have to switch it on so that once you press the shutter or using the uh, remote shutter once you press it halfway you will see that dun sa gumagalaw na image mo it will suddenly become steady and that is necessary for you to get a sharp image Remember, you don't want to touch your cam camera as much as possible. You have to use a remote trigger. If you don't have one, you have to use a timer. So, switch on the image stabilization for Super Telephoto Lens, even if you're using the tripod. So, that's it, guys. I hope I'm able to help you uh, catch the image later of the full moon. And just do the tips that I told you about. One, you have to manually focus the lens. Two, switch on the stabilization if you have one. Kung wala, wala tayong magagawa doon. And three, if you have a remote trigger, use it. But if you don't have one, you can set the timer of the camera so that when you press that shutter, it will take time before it takes the image. That way, the camera is no longer moving. I almost forgot. Use a tripod. Okay, it is the most important part. If you cannot uh, use a tripod, tripod, find something sturdy where you can place your camera. But it is important that you have a tripod. So I hope you uh, get some tips right now. I'm sorry, this is not about flying. Uh, this is about my hobby. And uh, I'd just like to update you guys on what I do. Uh, hopefully soon we will have some vlogs regarding flying and uh, since the enhanced community quarantine is going to be extended until the 30th I'll try to make some 
topics that are related to flying okay thank you and hope you subscribe to my channel for those of you who haven't subscribed yet I will give you more tips regarding uh, flying regarding the airlines regarding photography and hope that we can also discuss about music okay thank you very much and uh, good day